Hello, Patrick Walchuk here with an update on the investment market, uh, the residential multi-unit property market in Ottawa to the end of July, and we'll be comparing that to the end of July 2022. And if you enjoy getting these updates, click the subscri subscription button, the notification bell, and we'll get them sent out to you every 30 days. So. What we're gonna look at ain't pretty, but it is what it is. So breaking it down into buildings that have two to four units in them, we've had 63 of those properties sell this year, which is a very significant decline of about 24% compared to the same time period last year. The average price is down over 10%, so that it's now about $948,000 and it's taking much, much longer for these buildings to sell in 67 days compared to 44 last year. <clears throat> now, moving on to the buildings that have five or more units in them, in our world we call these commercial uh, residential properties, we've had 10 sales, which is basically half of what we had in this time frame last year, and the average price is about, well, it's let's say 1,567,000 compared to uh, 2,449,000 last year, which is a decline of 36%. This price here is not really as reflective of, of what's going on because there are so few sales and we had some higher end properties. But the thing that is true and constant about both of them is that the increase in mortgage rates um, is making it more difficult for these properties to cash flow positive. And my experience is that we have a number of investors waiting on the sidelines, hoping, thinking that um, uh, mortgage rates are going to come down and make these properties more attractive. And we have some sellers also sitting on the sidelines waiting to put their property on the market so they can achieve a higher sale price of it. So it's a very interesting time for these buildings right now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.